And today we are going to take a look at a tool that will allow us to customize windows and in a lot of ways. For example, we can change our taskbar from horizontal to vertical. We can apply labels to the apps that we have open. We can disable grouping on the taskbar, which is really awesome. We can also change the Windows 11 menu style and a lot more. So that being said, let's go straight for it. And if you are watching this video on your Windows 10 or 11 computer and you still haven't activated and can't even edit your desktop icons, don't forget to check out cdksales.com where we can find budget official OEM keys at an affordable price and with the coupon code that you can see on screen and down below on the video description, it will get even cheaper. And besides Windows 11 Pro, if you are looking for Windows 10 or even an office suit that we can aggregate directly to our Microsoft account, you can use the same coupon code which will give you the best price possible at this moment so just in case the link will be down below the app that we will be using is wind Hawk, which is great thumbs up for the development team and for the community as well you just need to search on google and you will easily find it right over here now in terms of installation just download it and install on your computer which is a basic installation i already did on mine and it is right over here now if you notice i'm not using the n1 lap Top and I'm missing it because Windhawk at this moment, at least for the models that I did try, the Windows 24 H2, which is the one that I'm using on the N1, does not work yet. Now on this laptop, I'm using Windows 11 23 H2. So just have that in mind, but I'm really missing the N1, which has dual display and I can use OBS on one of the screens and I can also use the other screen to record these kind of tutorials to share with the community which is just awesome so a thumbs up for you over there and if the video is helpful don't forget to leave that thumbs up right over there as well now focusing on what we've got right over here i already installed and when we install for the first time we don't have any installed modes so if we want to install any mode we just need to go to the explore and then right over here we have a lot so i would suggest as well besides the ones that i'm going to share with you if you try any that you feel that it's really worth it please share with us so that we can install as well and try it and see because there are a lot of them now once we search for the one that we want we can just select and for example i can right, go right over here and press install and this one will install one which is taskbar clock customization now there are a lot and it will customize everything that we want in terms of the installation each model will take a little bit more or a little bit less depending on the module but we just need to wait and there we go once it's installed we are ready to start using it and this one in particular already changed my clock which is right over here so we can go to settings and then we also have some options right over here that we can customize and change the way that it looks. Now, to me, uh, it looks with a lot of text. So I do prefer something simpler. So if I want to disable, I will go to the home page, taskbar clock customization and disable. There we go, back to the original. So we can play around without being afraid of damaging anything. One of the models that I did try first was this one right over here, which is something that it's not available on Windows 11, as you know. And if I press the button, it will just put my taskbar on vertical. Now the clock will remain like this, but if I hover on top, it will show me the time like this. I would love to see a way that it would change the clock. For some reason it's not possible but if this is something that you are looking for this is it just one press and bam there is also one really interesting which is the disable group on the task partner if i press it will not show me any differences but if i go to my menu bar which we will customize in just a few moments and if i press on notepad for example it will open a document and I can, actually this was a solution for the co-pilot on Windows 11, but let's close that one. And if I open Notepad once again, it will open, as we can see, another item. And if I open another one, it will open right over here. So it will not group. Now, if we disable this one right over here, the normal behavior is that if we open 
another instance it will group right over here so this might be useful if you work with i don't know word or excel and you have a few apps open and if you want to exactly identify them this might be very useful so this is a cool one now let's close this one and let's take a look at the labels because labels with this one might be interesting if i turn it on it will show me the apps or the folders that i've got right over here open now the outlook app is not um, open so it will not give me any title the microsoft store it's not open as well so it will not show me anything but wind honk is working obs is recording my screen and this notepad is as well so it will show right over here and in my opinion i believe that this will be very useful if we have three or four instances of word or excel and we want to know exactly which one i want to select right now this will be very handy and in conjunction with the disable grouping on the taskbar it will be just awesome now let's turn this one off and this is one of those that we turn on and off and we will see exactly the change and now let's take a look at the windows 11 start menu styler which is one of my favorites probably the favorite one in this group if I go to details and then on settings, we will find some options right over here. And if we select the no recommended section, and before I save, if I go right over here, we have recommended section. So right now, let's save settings. And if I go, no recommended section. So if you're looking for this kind of customization, here we go. It also has the side by side, which might be cool. If you want to use it like this with all the apps right over here and then there's one which is side by side two which is exactly the reverse we will have all the apps right over here now this is not my favorite and this one is not my favorite as well this is minimal it will show the app right over here and then the minimal style right over here but my favorite is the translucent which is really cool if i save and open it will show me with no recommended apps but with this really different look right over here which in my opinion is really cool at least cooler than what we get uh, with the windows 11 normal one let's just disable and see the difference so save settings and if i go right now it shows me this which is a lot more boring than the other one so wind which is a awesome tool we did try five right over here really easy as you can see just search for the mod and then install it try it out for yourself see if it applies to you or not and as we did check out we just need to go to the explore section and then here select what we want to try out and basically that is it and it would be great if you could share on the comments down below which ones are your favorite which ones you don't like at all and you believe that they are not useful at all but so that we could gather some info from the community and that we can help each other to get our windows the way that we prefer with a little bit of touch here and there that will allow us to have better productivity as well that being said hope that the video was helpful and if it was don't forget that usual thumbs up right over there which is really appreciated on this side of the screen my name is Huerto George and as always I'll see you on the next one